Today we're going to work with the RB28 rail drill. It's designed to work with the black coated cutters and I've been recently asked if it could work with our new carbide tipped cutters. It can. What we need to do is get the RPMs up. The black cutter runs at 150 RPMs and the carbide needs to run at 350 RPMs. By adjusting a throttle spring on here we can get up to right around 230 RPMs which is much better than 150. So we're going to go over that really quick. It's a real simple fix. We'll do that now. On the RB28, to obtain the 150 RPM, the throttle spring is set on the lower position. To get the more RPMs, what we're going to do is move this spring, throttle spring, from the lower position up to upper position. Now you can run the carbide bits. This is the RB28 at the lower setting using the black cutters. This is the RB28 with the carbide bit after moving the spring up to the top of the pole. And remember guys, black coated cutters need the slower speed where the carbide needs the faster speed. By speeding up the drill using the carbide, you're going to get two to three times more holes per bit than you would with the black.